Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on my video. I've come out here to a really, really far away place to try to get some images of some hummingbirds and some videos, and I think that I've got plenty of them. So if you like hummingbirds, I really think that you're going to like this video. I'm way out here, you can see, way out here in the deep forest, we've got hummingbird feeders set up, and there's another one back over there somewhere. And we're going to go sit over here in my little hiding spot and see if we can get some pictures of some hummingbirds. I want to try to sit down without dropping my camera. There we go. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, I think I see one. Again, thank you for watching. I took most of these pictures and videos from my front porch. I sit out there with my Canon 90D and the Sigma 150-600 to in my lap and I just wait for them to come up. It's much easier to take photographs of these birds than it is to get video of them because they're constantly moving around and if I try to use tracking autofocus, it loses them when they fly out of I say fly out of the way when they just move out of the way because they're just there and they're gone. Um, but I do have a few videos in here. But the photos are much easier. I use spot autofocus with my Canon 90D. And so that allows me um, to, to kind of really lock in on them and get pictures. When I grade these pictures, in DaVinci, well, I grade them in Canon's DPP. I just get them to a basic saturation contrast uh, brightness level and then I move them into DaVinci Resolve and two things that I do to most of my bird images um, I use the polygon tool and I usually uh, place a polygon over and around the eye and I sharpen that just a little bit I usually take it from 0.5 to 0.48, 0.47. It just adds a tiny little bit of sharpness and pop to the eye. Makes it uh, just makes it look better, I think. And then there's an effect in DaVinci called contrast pop, and I use contrast. I use that effect on my images. It kind of helps to separate the bird from everything else in the image. And if the birds are on like tree branches um, it will help separate the branches from the foliage behind and it kind of gives everything a little bit more of a I want to say 3d but a little bit more of a 3d effect just makes everything look more real more realistic anyway and these birds are I believe ruby throated hummingbirds I don't think I have any other kind of hummingbirds in my yard and the ruby-throated hummingbird is the male, the one that actually has a ruby throat. The females have white or off-white breasts and necks. And then there is another bird in here that has some kind of green uh, spots or a pattern on its neck. And that could be a female or it could be a juvenile male. I don't know. I've seen images like that on the internet and they've called it juvenile male. And then I've seen them feeding uh, pictures of these birds with these spotted necks feeding babies, which would tell me female, so I don't know. These birds are kind of territorial. The, I have so many pictures of them sitting on the branches. There's four or five hummingbirds that come in and out of my yard, and they feed, and then they sit on the branches, and they wait for another bird to come in, and they chase each other around. Um, and usually when two birds are chasing each other around, there's another one that's been waiting off in the distance and that one will fly in and feed while the other two are fighting. And, uh, or not fighting, but chasing each other away from the feeders. Uh, I know that these birds are supposed to be gone pretty soon. They migrate to Mexico and they fly all the way across the Gulf of Mexico in one flight without stopping, which is very amazing to me. Well, 
that's all that I have right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out my channel for more videos like this. And please drop me a like. And I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.